Let's work with rotoscoping in After Effects. Rotoscoping is the process of animating on top of live action. In the old days, special effects wizards used to do this by hand. Now After Effects gives us some tools that make it a little easier. For our example, we're going to rotoscope a lightsaber beam over the lightsaber models that the actors are holding. It's always important to get your actors to start out with the lightsabers in a standard position, either upright, vertical, or fully, fully horizontal. It makes for a good starting place for your rotoscope. There's many ways you can create the beam in After Effects. For this example, I'm going to create a new layer, solid layer, and I'm going to apply an effect to it. Under Effect, Generate, I'm going to generate a beam. Beam will make the nice lightsaber beam that I need. And I'll just go in and transform it and scale it up a bit. I'll just break the link so I can scale it differently on width and height. And then I will position it where it needs to be. I also want to be very, very careful to move the anchor point. The anchor point is going to have to be moved to right at the base of the light. It's the easiest way to animate it. After I get that set up, I'll position the lightsaber truly where it needs to be. And I'll rotate it up into position. Notice I need to be a little wider to cover, cover up my base saber. And down a little. Of course, you can make these little more adjustments as needed when you're working on your actual item. Once I have the saber initially positioned, under the layer menu, I'm going to turn on 3D layer because we're going to have to rotate this on all three axes. And of course, I'm going to turn on keyframing for X, Y, and Z layer. And of course, I'm going to turn on keyframing for position two. Now it's just a matter of rolling the playback head forward, getting to a new position, and then I have to just position my lightsaber where it needs to be. So I'll move it to the right spot. Of course, there's some rotation going on, so I'll rotate it a little. And also back rotation once again to get it to match. Then you have to play it to make sure it stays on course. There's, it breaks off a little bit there, so I'm going to have to go in between those keyframes and I'm going to have to fix that again. Go down. Rotate it to the front a bit. Probably also rotate in my x-axis a bit. Check it once again, make sure it stays here. It's pretty good, it leaves just a little bit right there. So once again, I'm gonna just go back and fix my rotation. And I'll just keep repeating this process until I've matched the entire path of the lightsaber with the beam layer.